riffing if we're riffing if the no, what check. Adam what Adam wants to do is he wants to take uh-huh. a stand up bit that I used to do and then do it on the show as if it's something we all came up with. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't the bit. It was the extension of the bit, which was... Oh, the yeah, extension. The extension. A well, tag. We were riffing yeah, right. You added today. one tag <laughs> to a bit that it existed. It wasn't a tag. It was like, well, what if this the blue-collar comedy tour all converted to Islam? This is, oh, you know who does that? The fucking good. white men that stole every invention from black people. That's right. That's what they did. You ever see those, like, they go around on Black History Month, they're like... Oh, so there's no black inventors, you say? And then there's a what list about of, the peanut? There's yeah. yeah, well, like peanut uh, combs is on there, and like shoes. <laughs> it's like a stoplight. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a big one. Well, the truth is, no, no one person really invented anything. We just like credit one person right for thing. putting it all together. Yeah, that's how I feel. It was about like jokes. light bulbs. There was like multiple <laughs> designs for light bulbs. Yeah. Like Alexander Graham Bell didn't even invent the the telephone. There was an Italian guy that came really? up with it at the same time. Yeah, who? Fucliani Telefonici. I don't know. Some, fr- some wop Fermi. piece of shit <laughs> was trying to just call up women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you know? bitch. I need to get the call. Yeah, like, the please. <laughs> I cannot use the handicapped Italian guys. Yeah. Like, How can I do a rape on the streets? <laughs> they need to make a, a way for me to do it to the houses. <laughs> Hello, sexy ladies. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> really? Yeah, nobody wow. really invented anything. Hmm. You know, every, that, that's like every, everything's a collaborative. Like every, literally everything. What about is a Tesla? Collaborate. That's why we shouldn't have patents or copyrights or anything like that because like people create things better if you don't have to worry about like being sued for adding to somebody's idea. Then who gets the skrill? What are you talking for about? When then? something is created, who gets the cashola? Uh, nobody. Okay, that's the trade-off. Okay, no so one gets any money. You don't get to make money off. So ideas. you want a the guy that a, invented a utali- penicillin? <clears throat> didn't utopian take, society. The guy who invented penicillin said, "I make enough money as a research doctor." Yeah, and he like didn't take a patent on it. Yeah, it's like I think about like that's joke good. theft or cool whatever. And if I didn't have to like worry about making money off jokes, I wouldn't care about joke theft. And right. the more successful I got in comedy, the less I gave a shit. That's like, absolutely true. If somebody yeah, steals yeah. something now, it's like I don't so whatever, know. I'll write something else. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's also like if you're stealing jo- the, the if you're stealing jokes like how good are you right. at comedy? You know what well, I mean? Well, and but if mm-hmm. if, if you if you're, you know, you'd say, have to be a real pathetic if you're, if you're not stealing, good at comic. If you steal a joke and then you add something else to it, Ultimately, collectively, we we end up with a better joke, right? Mm, for example, like an ex- like what if the blue collar comedy? Right, tour? exactly. Which, but <laughs> hold on, that was part of the joke that I originally was did. it. Yes. So you didn't add anything to the joke. When did you do that as part of the joke? Uh, years ago, way before you did it. You know when I did it? Febu- I don't think it February. was February, <laughs> Black History Month. Oh, wow. he's making this up, audience. Just so February eleventh, you know. my birthday. Yeah. No, I was defending Adam's behavior. I knew what I was doing. It was a hot riff. It wasn't really. So why don't you do it? Go ahead, Adam. Uh, what was we, what were we saying? <laughs> oh, like a catchphrase comic who just kept saying. No, in that's not shock. where it starts. No, no. Well, he's, he's saying there's no reason there's never any ISIS attacks in the South. You know, it's like just New York or Boston or whatever. This is your joke. Yeah, Islamic yeah. terrorism. Because like they don't. You don't want the South converting to Islam because the worst thing that could happen in the world would be white Islam. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. And then, like, just to imagine how terrible a, a bunch of conservative Islamic rednecks would be. <laughs> and then we were doing, you know, Larry the Cable Guy. Sure. But he's Larry Ben Al Cable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's funny. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Get her shala. Get her shala. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah, can't wait I till Adam does it. It was stage. worth it for you to make me do that bit that I stopped doing because it never got a laugh <laughs> on the show. If, if you yeah. do an honor killing, right? Of your of of a guy who if fucked you, your daughter. If you throw a rock through your daughter's brain because she got <laughs> raped before marriage, <laughs> you might be a redneck. <laughs> that's that is really good. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what we were saying earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Jafar Fox here. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Damn. You think Jafar knew he was a villain? Uh, I think he you just think thought he was gay. From Aladdin? You think he was a good guy? You th- like, do villains know they're bad guys? No, he was just Jewish. Yeah. No, he was, Jafar wasn't Jewish. He, was he just gay. thought he was Jewish. He was Jafar, gay. Jafar yeah. was gay, and because Islam is so oppressive, he couldn't be openly gay, so he, yeah. had, to, uh, he had to make it seem like he really wanted to marry that princess. Right. You know, Someone so he's does like... does that I, as a bit about so how all the villains... Yeah, are, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's Adomian. Adomian, Adomian, Adomian yeah. Yeah. 
which Wait, is true. I mean, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Ursula is just is supposed to be divine. A it giant, was like the main yeah, inspiration. Giant Actually, drag queen. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to be divine. Yeah, divine for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so who do you think Jafar wanted to fuck in Aladdin? Those burly guards? You think he was fucking those no, big that guards? Young... No, Iago, obviously. Like, he, he wants to, to fuck put, his parent? He wanted to put Iago's beak in his ass. Rawr! Now, you don't know about now. Talk, Iago. <laughs> that's you're what, fucking my ass. That's what huh? gay guys do at those bathhouses. Yeah, they put birds. They, they put, put exotic birds. In birds. Their Is that how they <laughs> clean their they their assholes out? Yeah. Shit Is that their why ass. they have different it's colored rings? <laughs> their their bird. The, yeah. the, that's yeah, why exactly, the beaks are actually orange, exactly. but that's it's a different they, color they, shit. They, they call exactly. their assholes Fruit Loops. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, it all comes full circle. I'm learning a lot, guys. Yeah. About your culture, my cul- Wait, what the hell? Gay yeah. culture. What is that where hell? toucans come from? Is Greece? I know they have them in Belize. They we don't have toucans. No, like from the Amazon. I thought. Oh, I know they have them in Belize, but I, I now that I know that they're gay, I was just you assume they either in they're indigenous Greece. to Greece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just flamingos and toucans <laughs> yeah, yeah. and. What are other gay ass? Well, that's animals? what your gay grandfather did gay. with all those birds. Sloths are like gra- like old gay guys, sort of. They're like the. Why don't you just come fuck me? You know, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay down here, <laughs> and you can just do whatever you want. <laughs> that guy, guys. Jonathan the tortoise, that 200 year old. Yeah, we tortoise. talked the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> talked. We <laughs> know that dude. He's, yeah, we we talked about he's the, gay the gayest turtle. guy of all time. Yeah, we talked about the gay turtle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The goat. You'd say it's a tortoise, please. The fuck you! I won't say he's a fucking tortoise. Fuck tortoises! It's a turtle. What the fuck respect, is the difference between respect, a tortoise? I don't respect identity. the difference. No, nobody. I, that's one of those things I'm never gonna remember the difference. Tortoise turtle. You don't know. Turtles are amphibious. No, because no, nah, there's sea turtles and then there's sea tortoises. Are there? Yeah, it's it's some like tortoises? tortoises are land animals. I don't like know. That. It's some like it's like the shape. Who of gives the a shell. fucking yeah, nobody shit? Nobody cares. It's like Who's alligators shame? and crocodiles. <laughs> some people do care. Alligator. Alligators aren't. Alligators and crocodiles are basically the same thing, right? Yeah. 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 There's no reason. First of all, Who all of these fuck? distinctions are cooked up by scientists so they can keep their jobs. So true. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you ask a regular person what's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle, and they say, Who gives a shit? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Now, a, why differentiate between What about two? a rabbit and a hare? For the sake of mascots? Is that why we're doing it? I think it? maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maryland had the uh, crocodile, the diamondback t- t- turtle. T- yeah, the terrapins. The what's the terrapin? terrapin. terrapin. Terps. Yeah, well, yeah, Mr. Fucking... Mr. Turtles, what the fuck is a terrapin then, bitch? I don't know. It's your fucking state. Maybe you should know. No. Is it like Oregon it just uses like Donald Duck? Is there uh... as yeah, yeah for the Oregon they did Ducks. for a while, but I don't think they use they, they used like a semi bootleg Donald Duck. It looked pretty cool. He was, mean, like, it, looks, it was sick. Dude. It looks they like the sickest just, uniform. He's angry. stealing from Donald Duck. Yeah, like they're allowed to. Well, do. Uh, Disney shares <laughs> your opinions on intellectual property, so no, they don't. No, I know it was a bit. No, it <laughs> wasn't. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. And I'm yeah, not. A bitch. I was being sarc- sarcastic, and you are a bitch. No, I'm you're not. You're actually a, bitch. a double bitch. I just forgot. Actually, you're being sarcastic. Mr. Double Bitch. You're being sarcastic Mr. right now while you're. No, nope, this a bitch, is being so. serious. No, you're sarcastically calling me a bitch just because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> no, you just said I'm sarcastic all the time. Does well, I, I didn't say that. I think I'm the third person in the room. I should be able to. No, decide. I think shut you up. should shut the fuck okay. up. Okay, yeah, shut up, bitch. Yeah, you know what okay. we can that agree on? That one was real. Finally, some common ground. You sarcastically just told me to shut the fuck up. Shut up, bitch. That, that was, was real. real. Yeah. Yes. I was doing it. I was doing it. Um, <clears throat> I got to say, by the way, I just got back fresh off the mega bus. Shouts out to all the cum boys that came to Boston. Shouts out to the South Shore boys. Great fucking show. A little House of Blues up there. Yep. Yep. I was the departed. I fucking. I was undercover. I'm shipping off the bastard. And I fucked. Uh, I fucked my therapist. And then Mark Wahlberg was the only one that lived. Do you want to yeah. hear my my version of that? Mark song? Wahlberg's like, you could do whatever you want with my character, but he never gets beaten up or killed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what he you always do. wins every fight. He wins every fight, especially with black guys. <laughs> I'm not playing that shit. I got the rock now. <laughs> do whatever you want. I heard. Uh, I heard Mark Wahlberg. You know, um, he's probably going to assault. He's probably. You think someone's going to come out with Mark no. as an assault guy? No, 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 no. not at all. Because he Nick already couldn't handle it. He Nick already, really, for Nick's of course sake. not. First of all, just, <laughs> just don't even. 
you know. <laughs> Nick could not handle that. That was the most fucking that reflexive no I've ever heard in my life. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Of course not. I mean, Nick would like stop re- replying <laughs> to texts, and then we'd like, we got to go over. We got to make sure he's okay. Like, you've literally been in bed for seven days. The, the, cur- <laughs> the curtain's drawn. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. Mark, <laughs> you fucking liar. Well, I heard actually he fucked the eye socket of the Vietnamese guy. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's well, that's, that's why nothing's going to happen is because he's on record as having committed a racial hate, hate crime. crime. <laughs> right, right. And then it's just sort of like casually talking about it on Inside the Actor's Studio. Yeah. It's so, wild. Yeah. So he's not a guy you have to worry about. And speaking of, how fucking stupid is Morgan Spurlock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? He did that challenge, that movie where he has to rape someone every day for <sighs> yeah. 30 days. Yeah. I went straight to McDonald's he's like, when I found Me and my right. girlfriend have been having consensual sex for years, but I thought, what would happen if I <laughs> raped her for 30 days? <laughs> would she stop being vegan? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Supersize me. I mean, my dick. Get my dick really hard <laughs> by screaming no at me in your wispy vegan voice. <laughs> Oh fuck, Morg. So what did he do? He put out a. Uh, he just wrote he, a thing. It was like just to nip it in the bud. He yeah. did rape. He said he raped. Uh, yeah. it's, I didn't read it. it well, I said, I he did. He said he said he raped, and I'm sure women went to the police, and they were they were like, "I was raped by a man named Morgan Spurlock." And they're like, "Okay, this is another schizophrenic person." <laughs> yeah, that thinks that thinks Colonel a Lust, wizard. Thinks Colonel yeah, Lust, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, how is not Morgan Spurlock some some fucking bootleg ass wizard's name, dude? That's right. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. fucking bitch. It what you got? Like what a... you got? A little pointy hat with fucking moons and stars on that bitch, motherfucker. Yeah. It sounds like huh? A, a guy You're wearing like... flowy ass tunics, my bitch. Man hanging out with Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. more like Harry yeah. Penis. Harry. Yeah, my man's got a hairy ass penis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Rackow! Mr. Rack em. Potter. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Why don't you supersize me, Mr. Potter? <laughs> great bit. Great riff. <laughs> nice. <You know>? Nice. <laughs> Make us drive yeah. through us. Fuck it. Here's an owl yeah. for you, and then it drops the scroll and it says, You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Morgan Spurlock? Yeah. Well, that's what those books are about. It's How about this? You know, that wizards, half, you know, like the, the wizard kids are. You know, queers. Oh, they're the gay guys. Yeah. Oh, and and so wizards. Well, it's a, the first book so starts hot, off with with Harry Potter literally living in a closet, right? Mm. Whoa, Whoa, fuck! Under the stairs. Yeah. And yeah. then the books end with Dumbledore being gay. Cause That's right. Nobody. It took forever for people to realize that it's about being gay. So. Yeah. He sucks off Voldemort. That's how he beats him. I yeah. think. Yeah. What about one of those Dumbledore brooms? Dumbledore doesn't beat Voldemort. What about what about uh, the snitch flying into someone's ass? Did that ever happen during yeah, Quidditch? Yeah. What the, what is a snitch? It's a little That's golden the, ball. I never read any of those books. The, to win the Quidditch game, you need to, you need to catch get the, the snitch. It's a magical golden ball with with, with wings. With wings. Yeah. And theoretically, it could fly into someone's ass. Oh. And then, then does that count as catching? And do you win? Technically, you've caught it. So you won. <laughs> catching the snitch is like catching the bug. You know. That's right. Yeah. You know about Yali Gresh, the Turkish national sport. Is that the wrestling, no. like the oil wrestling thing? It's oil wrestling where you win by shoving your hand all the way down your opponent's pants. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Front or back? That is, those are the rules. The only rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can win by pinning also, but like the the badass way to win is you grab shove. cock. They actually have a rope that runs like along the inseam so that you have something to grab onto, but mm-hmm. it's so you can accidentally grab their dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, cooked up, like cooked up by some closeted fucking Turkish guy, like six thousand years yeah, ago. Right, right, right. He's right. like, oh, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game we play. Uh, you know, there's points, so we're allowed to do it. You're not allowed to cut my head off. Uh, Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, their national sport is smear the queer. Whoa, dude! I saw this video of um. Uh, Two guys they, kissing. They do Damn. team MMA in Russia. Oh, I saw so that it's video. Like five dudes against five. Yeah, yeah, dudes. yeah. But, and then once one guy gets knocked out, the, they, you can go two on one. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking. Brutal, and it just becomes dude. like five guys beating the shit out of. It's a re- two guys. <laughs> yeah, you ever see? Uh, you ever see chess boxing? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, all right. I've seen it. As long as you've seen it, I have. No reason to talk about it further. Do well, you remember what else? Slap boxing. What other Harry like Potter stuff school? is there? What other Harry Potter stuff is there? Yeah. Um. Yeah, what I he, had we were a, he had a fucking something. girlfriend, didn't he? She was. Uh, she was Chinese. He had a Chinese girlfriend at, he had at a one Chinese point. Girlfriend. Cho Chen. He went. He went Chinese to redhead. Damn. To his. And I think that's the only. Sister. Sideways us, possus. 
That's the only you, <laughs> Mr. Potter, are you creating Asian women to fetishize <laughs> in the magic room? <laughs> Damn, dude! If it, you, everyone in the Harry Potter universe must have had a big ass dick, because you just do a spell. The, yep, that's to make right. your dick big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a big problem they had. And you yeah. get your t- your titties plump. Everyone's hard. Everyone's <laughs> got juicy pussies. Mm-hmm. That's the shit. Like, why were there ugly people in the Wizarding mm-hmm. World, man? I love that. This is the premise: if women had magic, they would be like, "I wish I had a juicier <laughs> pussy." <laughs> 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 Uh, big fat <laughs> huge fat just titties. looking <laughs> looking like the lips of a racist cartoon that's what I want dude you understand women so good so you really know what makes them tick. I mean I'm not saying that's yeah. the first thing they do but that's, that's, sar- that's Adam being sarcastic are you f- wait seriously yeah that I'm like Adam sarcastic. who really does understand women that's you know, right so well dude yeah mm-hmm. I watched that Mel Gibson movie yeah mm-hmm. hell yeah I remember that. I remember that movie, dude. Yeah. When Mel Gibson doesn't fuck good, there's a scene where he's not fucking good because yeah. Marissa Tomei's thoughts are in his head. Yeah, she's like, your dick's not... We talked about this on the... Did we? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. So he's like, she's like, his dick's small. And then he goes in the bathroom and he's like, ah! Yeah, yeah, and he like yeah, yeah, yeah. Screams until his dick gets bigger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which I think we've all tried. Of course. That of does. Course. Screaming into your dick like a microphone? Yeah. No. What you do is you, you just leave that woman's apartment, you go on Reddit, and you find a new lifestyle. <laughs> That's right. Where it's everyone's You learn about it. It's, yeah. Why? It's not your fault your <laughs> dick wasn't hard. <laughs> it has nothing to do with your horrible diet and the way you don't take care of yourself at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, I feel like we were getting into something before Harry Potter, but I forgot. We were, I don't think we've ever gotten into anything. <laughs> yeah, that's not the point of this, whatever this is. I've gotten into something, all right. Yeah. What's that? A pussy. Your dad's pussy. My father's pussy. Your dad has a pussy. Well, my dad prayed for a juicier pussy. How did, how, in, in the movie where, not twins, in the movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant, is it Junior? Yes. Uh, jingle all the way. And jingle all the way. Does he have a pussy in that movie? <laughs> no, he doesn't have a pussy. <laughs> what does the baby yeah. come out of? His ass? You no, know, I, I mean, please tell me you know it's not jingle. I know it's not jingle all the way, man. Fuck. I know he's. I know the plot of Jingle All the Way. Yeah, you, at the end of Junior, he's on the toilet and he's just like, <laughs> does he shit the baby out? And then you hear this big plop, and then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he has to fish the baby out of the toilet. <laughs> He's like, I, I just took a shit. Oh, That's yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just took a shit. <laughs> right? Do it again? Oh, don't you dare. I'm making fun of you, and you're saying, telling me to do it again? That's sarcastic. Neither Which, of you are good at impressions. No, I'm, I'm actually... I'm terrible at impressions. You're not terrible. No, I am. Stop Nick. fishing for compliments. No, I'm not fishing yeah, for compliments. I hate when he does this yeah, I'm, No, I am. I'm bad at them, but... I mean, it's like LeBron James. I'm, like, much, I'm bad at basketball, guys. Well, he's not I'm that not good the, at exactly. I'm not the no, fucking. No, first of all, he's okay at impressions. Right, exactly. Yeah. I'm like a guy that's okay at pickup yeah. basketball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saying I'm not LeBron James, which no, um, you're like maybe a college player. Who gives a? This is the point is. I'm not going to give you any more. Fun. My my, my <laughs> point is, I couldn't go on stage and be like an impressionist comic. I can approximate certain things, but you, you guys yeah. are dog shit at impressions. That's fine. That's not true. I really can only do Mark Norman. That's the only one I can nail. Sob does horny Goku really good. <laughs> horny Goku. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Bulma, can I see your pussy? What if I was uh, uh, Mark Norman who knows what anime is? That's good, dude. That's that really is really good. good. Yeah. It's weird. Your vo- like, y- it is, you're right. There is something different between that and your other impressions. Right, yeah. You got to... He talks from the back of his throat. Mm. You know? Yeah, oh yeah. I got something for the back of your throat, pal. Right. You know who says that? Trans people. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. That's a That's really good, good Norman. That's Thanks. good. Thanks, folks. Let's call Joe List on the phone and see if he can tell the difference. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a fun game? You'd be like, hey, it's your friend. Yeah. I'm listening to it now. It doesn't sound right on the microphone. On the headphones? It doesn't. Kidding. Kidding. I've lost it. It's gone. Yeah, you're Well, bad. maybe it's harder if you're listening to it. Maybe it's harder if somebody's listening to you cry. And by it, <laughs> I mean. You know, <laughs> have you guys ever seen me cry? Yes, probably. Yes, dude. Yeah. No, Sub's heard me cry one time on the phone. <laughs> 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 but the, you've never seen me cry. I've seen you cry every day before we do the podcast. You're like, <sighs> okay, just just one hour, Adam. You can get no, through it. That's not true. Every you, single time, you cried a lot true. during. They believe that. everything you say. <laughs> you cried a lot during that. The, the, the Joyce saga. I remember that. 
<laughs> I cried on the phone to Stav. Yeah, that was and Brandon. Yeah, when that happened. <laughs> they were on their way to California. Yeah. I, like, yeah, I think I if I, <laughs> I think if I witnessed any of yeah, my friends it. crying, I blacked it out of my memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too much for you for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, seeing, yeah, seeing yeah. your father cry has to be the most traumatic. I've never thing seen ever. that in my life. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God, I never. Saw uh, that. Uh, we went to oh, uh, we went to my we went to we went to my grandpa's funeral and they buried him and I got choked up a little bit, but no one was really like. Other than my aunt, she was crying a lot. Yeah. Why? And then we're driving away, and uh, my dad's like, "Well, that's kind of depressing." <laughs> and, then my, and then my kind of, and then my stepmom goes, uh, "What?" And he's like, "My dad's dead." She's like, "Oh." <laughs> and yeah. wow, a uh, little another extra piece of how Nick Moan was made. <laughs> that's another little little insight. Yeah. <laughs> my dad cried his dick off when his dad died. And you saw it. I well, apparently, apparently, my dad did cry a lot when the dog died. I wasn't oh, there wow. for it. Yeah, but he was, and, and he would cry when he th- like every once in a while the dog would run away, and like he's like, <laughs> "What? I said he's gone." You know, that's he, where your dad put all the, his emotions into that dog, probably. I guess. Yeah. He What's really your cried. thing that's like that? Um, what like if something Paul, Fast Paul, and the Furious? Paul Walker. Died. Yeah. <laughs> when Paul, yeah, when, yeah. Once Paul was gone, it was actually Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> if anything happens to Mark, yeah. What's the last good cry? You I don't know, dude. Saw? I cry like dumb, like dumb shit in movies. You cried yeah. from Fast and Furious. What, stop. When's the last? I cry cried. It? I cried during Star Trek. I cried during a commercial recently. I don't remember mm-hmm. what it was. Which one? I, I don't know. It was like something like a little baby and shit. It was just like so beautiful. You know what I cried? When mm. I watched the Kevin Durant MVP speech to his mom, <laughs> I fucking oh, lost it. I had a real good cry where it was like, I had a real tough time in college, and it was uh, my mom's birthday, and then they started playing, and I, I had like some fuck, like a huge panic attack, and I, I failed the class, so I didn't turn in the final paper. I had an A in the class, and I just mm-hmm. had a panic attack the night before, and I like had to just straight up, I, I revert into a damn baby, and I had to you call sure my mom. sure it wasn't mom. a pancake attack? <laughs> yeah. I mean? yeah. Cooked up a couple of <laughs> flapjacks. <laughs> there was syrup <laughs> lodged in my throat. Yeah. I couldn't His breathe. His is like, he's surrounded by <laughs> silver dollar pancakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just That's how I cope. Yo, I, I just, I love breakfast. <laughs> I got a friend that's a real breakfast head. <laughs> he's got pictures of breakfast all over his room. Wakes up in the morning. He's got a crepe station going right next to the bed. Oh, fuck yeah. That would be awesome. Stop yeah. by the breakfast. Hulk. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then once, uh, and then and then I called my mom, and then in the car that day, they just played Hey Mama, Ka- that Kanye song. Kanye song. And I fucking lost it, dude. That's sad. Yeah. That shit did make me sad when Kanye's mom died. Oh, yeah. That was it, huge. Yeah, just because of how upset he was. Yeah, yeah. All right, I don't, I don't give a shit about Kanye. R.I.P. Donda, the Louis Vuitton she died, mom, uh, getting, getting elective surgery, elective illegal plastic surgery. Yeah, Wait, from some guy in like Costa Rica or so, some shit. She was yeah. getting the the Sosa skin whitening. She was trying to get that pussy juice. I was up. hoping. It, I was yeah. hoping that <laughs> Caitlin wouldn't have dispelled that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Went to pussy um plumpiosa. Yeah. Make us lips as big as <laughs> nice, nice hole, Mister Potter. <laughs> that, that fucking <laughs> glass, they're all yeah. lifting their wands and trying to make pussies out of thin air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Biggest pussy is <laughs> Harry Potter and the juicy ass pussy. <laughs> Book number eight. This is where they <laughs> they use corrective rape to fix Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't have homosexuality in that world either, you know, if they can fix all their problems magically. Yeah. The Church of Scientology uses corrective rape. Did you know that? What? Yeah. Like, they rape you to cure you of something? Yeah, if you're gay, they'll rape you. They'll, like, make... Oh, uh, is that John Travolta's idea? I thought Travolta's it was, like, a big idea? beard operation where they're, huh? like, hiding famous gay people in yeah. Hollywood. Like, sure. Will Smith and John Travolta. You think Will Smith's gay? Yeah, they got dirt people on them. Think they, they got dirt on maybe, them yeah. saying that, you know, because when you join the Church of, Chi- Church of Scientology, they put you in a room and they're like, you need to just be vulnerable with us so that, you know, w- you know, you can build trust with us. So tell us every fucked up thing you've right. ever did. Right. And then, Deep, dark secret. Yeah, and then it's like, then they, all, like, have just blackmail on you forever. Like, Damn. recorded, too, and, like, videotaped. Yeah. Nice. I would just lie. Yeah, of why course. Not, why not fucking lie? And then you move up. You just come up with the worst thing possible. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, okay. I cut off... I made I made fried calamari out of baby dicks <laughs> in 1987. <laughs> I murdered 37 infants to make fried calamari out of their cocks. Ooh, fuck. No, just the If it tasted skins. like... Calamari, would you eat it, guys? Uh, no. 
Because that's my answer. No, too. there's so much other food. <laughs> you know how much? You know how much? Because I agree. You know how much time I have to spend with regular good calamari, convincing myself it's not severed what? foreskins. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, it's not severed foreskins. People think it's uh, pig anus. No, we've talked. To, we've definitely talked about this before. They had a way. So they did an experiment where if you like. Cleaned out the pig's colon and chopped it up. It kind of looked like calamari and tasted the same. I love that the only conversations Stav remembers on the show are the ones that are food. <laughs> We've talked about this. Yeah. I remember this for sure because I would eat pig asshole if a it tasted like calamari in a candy bar. <laughs> no problem. No problem Fava whatsoever. Beans. I don't actually remember saying any of the stuff on the soundboard. <laughs> I don't, I don't the remember those conversations. Triple, dude, triple, I forget double, everything. Watch triple triple deck double deck fucking burgers. burgers. <laughs> <laughs> 40 Jimmy, uh, Jimmy 40 Dean breakfast Jimmy, Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. <laughs> I do remember that because my dad used to get uh, a box of 40, say it, say it. 40 Jimmy Dean <laughs> breakfast <it>. sandwiches. <laughs> they were good, dude. The you, frozen you can, They were frozen. Yeah. You can microwave yeah. them no, whole. I, no, I straight up, I remember those. My mom used to get those. those were dang. And then we had like a toaster oven. And yeah, so yeah, if you was, if your dick was really crispy, big, yeah. you toast it. Yeah, you take them apart. We didn't have a microwave; oh. it was only the toaster oven. So we, yeah, you uh, yeah you yes. open the shit up and then boil yes, it, brother. Man, perfect, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a real sl- I had a real slutty breakfast real this morning. Treat. Because I told you guys, I texted you guys this, but I was on the mega bus, and the guy's like, all right, I'm going to do a safety check, so uh, I'm just going to pull over at this Burger King. It's not at a fucking rest stop. He pulls off the highway like 10 minutes, <laughs> pulls into a little-ass parking lot. Uh-huh. There's no, He's not doing any safety check, and then he's, the driver's just calling every woman that works there love, and then I see the manager give him like a stack of money. And I oh, think he's, he's like got, running drugs. I think he's cutting a deal with them where he gets a percentage of because everyone bought something. Oh, you think so, that he's trying to like? I think so. I think a deal? I think he's cutting a deal. I, so basically, I'm blaming him for starting my day with a double cheeseburger with onion rings his on fault. it. Yeah, it's his fault. It's his fault. That's what I had for breakfast. So I had a real slutty breakfast. Is I what had I'm saying. two McDonald's breakfast sandwiches last time. I went oh, to McDonald's. dabaholics! Yeah. What'd you get? I got the sausage biscuit. And I don't think I'll ever eat a McDonald's again in my life. What? what? I won't That's do it. wild. Dude, Morgan Spurlock raped. You have to go back to McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. as a show, of, as a show of, as a show as of support a show for of Morgan support. Spurlock, we yeah. should eat McDonald's. No, no, as a show of opposition to Morgan Spurlock. Oh, okay. And his fucking, I'm sorry. Yes, that's what I meant. And his fucking bad mouthing of Amer- one of the world's greatest breakfast and lunch. Here's the thing about McDonald's. We find out he raped Wendy. Of oh, Wendy's fame, yeah, that, that's and people are like, he did it to despicable. save us from lunch, <laughs> from deadly lunches. <laughs> I did, I did take a pool though, a lift pool, with a woman that was working out at the Harvard gym this morning. So it's almost like I went to Harvard and worked out this morning. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a catch! Dude. Yeah, wow. yeah, a fitness, a fitness thought that's also a Harvard genius. That's right. Can you imagine how badly that woman would ruin your life and self esteem? <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's what I need. Yeah, I need one of those. I want to be your little baby boy who just <laughs> she just tells me what to do yeah. and dresses me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna make a crib out of an old shopping cart. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a ba- yeah, an actual dude. baby. But you are an actual baby. I know, but I don't want to be. Yeah. I'm trying to change. I'm thinking about. I'm really thinking about getting wigs and weaves and shit. <laughs> you should get a piece, dude. I want a Yanni uh, weave, dude. I want a fucking long black curly hair, just fucking. You'd look so good. Shake my head side to side, eat ice cream cones and shit on yeah, the, in the yeah, springtime. Yeah, yeah. How good would I look, That'd dude? I mean, sick, you would like look if, terrible. <laughs> no, I would look incredible. Yeah, you would people... look like the stupidest. <laughs> no, dude, no, that no, would no, be no, awesome. No, 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 no. You're such a hater. We're, we're like not trying to make it look like. Yeah, if I admit it, if they were trying to trick people into what's the big deal? They have hair, but instead they were like, "No, I want to change. Look at my, my weave. Change my look every, every single day. Every day, I want to be like a black woman. I want to be able. Yeah, exactly. I, I, that's my tribute <laughs> yeah, to black women. Exactly. Is yeah. I want to wear weaves too. Yeah. That's the thing about black women is they're able to change their look, <laughs> and that's why they have it the best. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they have the best life yeah. out of any type of person in America. The easiest right. kind of person to be. Yeah. Well, I, it's like I said, it's, it's a one tribute. of those disguised up black women. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the masters of disguise. They are masters. That was, yep. Mm-hmm. That movie with yeah, uh, yeah, that movie was Carvey actually like about a black, black woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, Dana Carvey really thought he was getting that comeback. <laughs> Wait, you, yeah. you weren't Did getting you the Austin Powers bounce nine, back. Nine eleven. I read that online. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they oh, shot right. the Turtle Club scene while the nine eleven terrorist attacks <laughs> were going, so they had to have like a moment of silence while Dana Carvey <laughs> dressed as a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledge. 
the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Who, who's due from a comeback from that from that class, dude? Rob Love Schneider. Schne- Schneider's done, dude. Is he? Dana Carvey is still doing stand-up. So is Rob Schneider. Is he? Yeah, you yeah. know what's funny is like if you count only the years that he was doing stand-up, I think he'll be doing stand-up longer than Rob Schneider. Probably you guys, too. Yeah. He did it for like two years and he yeah, got yeah. SNL. Yeah, yeah. Love oh, yeah, that new special that. was fucking... Uh, I mean, I, me, I don't know. I'll watch as much bad stand-up as I watch good stand-up. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I'll put it on for a laugh at the beginning and it was real bad. I was but talking the other day. Salute to him. He's rich. And his his daughter. Uh, you know what looks bad is that new Jean-Claude Van Damme series. What JCVD? It? It's like a comedy. No, it's JVCJ or something. What? Yeah, he's Jean-Claude Van Johnson. Why? I don't know. That's just what they called it. That sucks. Is that it? Yeah. What's it about? It's a comedy. It's like a comedy. It's like it's a like self-aware like type sort of self yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. Everyone tries to do that. Remember, I think Joey Tribbiani. I watched the new Louie movie. One. Yeah. yeah. But j- that's, that's a, an actor named Matt LeBlanc. Right, Matt LeBlanc. Jo- Joey Tribbiani is a character from the show Friends. <laughs> right, that's not right. A, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not a real yeah, yeah. person. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're confusing <laughs> a, he a plays fictional an character actor. being he spun plays off in the show Friends. No, no, no. Matt LeBlanc did do a show where he's like, he's got gray hair and he's a failed actor or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Episodes. Also, Phoebe did a sucks. show like that. That show's that show's really actually good. good. Yeah, the yeah. comeback. It's you, know, comeback. Really you know, it's always weird about yeah. Phoebe is that Lisa Kudrow also played um, Mad About You, yeah, the waitress, whatever that fucking bitch. Is Ursula, Ursula was actually Smelly Cat, and, and that was her right. sister. Yeah, they, they so made same her twin universe. sister. Yep, yep. Same, same universe. universe. So Paul Reiser, yeah. and what yep. people don't know is Paul Reiser fucked uh, Jennifer Aniston's character. Another thing that yeah. people don't realize is that the Friends universe was also in the Marvel universe. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And now that Fox bought it, and now that Fox bought it, they're going to bring they back a, Friends. They're going to bring back Friends uh-huh. in the new Captain Avengers. Captain America yeah. is going to fuck. Yeah, he's going to. You know, fuck Joey. No, they're just they're bringing Joey, a uh, Chandler. All so wait, them how much shit is Disney allowed to buy? They just bought everything. Basically, they just bought Rupert Murdoch's pants. Basically, someone called it his King Lear moment. That's a smart thing that I, I don't get it. What happened in King Lear? I don't know. Some like some old king. Oh, I don't know. I brought sex. it up, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You it know. I brought smart. it up so I could say it. But <laughs> I guess if I had to remember what it was. <laughs> After I, never, after I <laughs> no, I never reread <laughs> the plot synopsis of King Lear, so I could pretend like I'm hey, 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 this information. Hey, hey, I got in front of you what you're saying right no, now. No, you didn't, saying, bitch. That is something that I read and sounded smart. No, no, it isn't, bitch. What happened, yeah, in King Lear? So you tried to Morgan Spurlock your <laughs> yeah. humble brag? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. What is King Lear about? It's about a a, a guy whose like family is like destroying he's about to die and like there's a power struggle in his family mm. for, the, for the crown i believe i haven't seen it that's hamlet no hamlet's, no, when hamlet's about a guy who kills his uncle yeah and, to then, fuck he, his, and then he kills himself to fuck his aunt or something and then his girlfriend gets goes nuts or something um <laughs> amber i know just, what macbeth amber is about is just shaking i actually know right what now. macbeth is about it's about a guy whose wife makes him do some fucked up shit i like yeah. macbeth because you know? it's the shortest one yeah yeah. And it's the, the Did you ever do plays? And Othello Did Othello is a black guy Gets tricked by a Jew No 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 He's not Yeah Iago's not a Jew Iago's He gets tricked by Iago's Gil, a Jew A, uh, a parrot Merchant into, of Venice uh, You know who plays Merchant Iago In a the televised one. version of Othello hmm. Bob Hoskins Who Shouts out to Bobby Hotch uh, uh, yeah, It's our in memoriam moment for Oh I watched Mona Lisa Wait he's dead Yeah it's good right yeah, it's, I didn't realize it was sort of a romantic comedy. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's like a bouncer that falls in love with a prostitute. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my future. Um, I would be a damn bouncer. You do, yeah, so do kind of have Bob Hoskins proportions. Yeah, you sort of yeah, do. Yeah. If you lost a little bit of weight, you'd be barrel-chested. I'm Hoskins. And, mm. I'm yeah, Hoskins. Yeah. It's I'm so Bobby funny Hoskins. that it, somebody He was say, the toughest man. If you, had, <laughs> if you lost a little weight. <laughs> if, you, if you got I'm it together, you could look like Bob Hoskins. Listen, he was like a tough guy. Yeah, that's me, bitch. Yeah, the only two options in life for him were to become that character actor or open a chain of buffet restaurants. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Bobby Bobby Hoskins House of No, it would just be called Bob Hoskins. It'd be Bob. the British Bob Evans. Oh, Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Is that the Canadian place? No, no Bob that's, Evans. That's You're thinking of Tim, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Bob Evans is good. I don't. I'm on the fence about I've whether Bob, Bob Evans. Evans or Bob's Big Boy is the better restaurant. Never been to either one. Bob's Big Boy is like How a California thing. Bob's Big Boy used to be in the fuck. Remember the Maryland House? I guess it's still there. 
off the 95? There. It's not there anymore. No, they moved. They, you know what they did? They shut down the Maryland House and uh, opened some new thing that's also called the Maryland House. Like, maybe an exit down. Okay. That sucks. Yeah. It's not as good. Yes. Because the Maryland House. They have Roy Rogers I, I'm there, pretty though. sure they used to have Bob's Big Boy. Because I distinctly remember that big... The statue, the Bob's the Big Boy. Statue. I remember one because it was in some movie or so, or was it in The Simpsons? Wasn't there a uh, Bob's Big Boy? No, no, no. It was that, in a Tarantino. The, 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 you're movie. talking about the Treehouse of Horror episodes, where yes. Like the guy that holds the donut or right. something. Or well, whatever it comes was, to life. I remember. Wasn't it in a Tarantino movie? Wasn't it in like Reservoir? Dogs? It doesn't matter. The point is, I remember whatever. seeing it as a fat child and being like, I want to go there. I only know Bob's Big Boy from ni- Interstate 95. I was never allowed out. to eat there. I thought it was a California thing. No, it's on. It's I know they even have it in, at least in like Jersey or something. So what does Bob Big's Boys have? It's very similar to Bob Evans. It's oh. like you know, you know, breakfast food, and then there's a buffet option. And mm. okay, um, I'm listening. Yeah, it's pretty bad. On the way from Vegas to L.A., there's a in the middle of nowhere, California. There's a Greek diner that mm. me and my family used to stop at all nice. the time, called the Mad Greek. <clears throat> what are your guys' top buffets? Buffets. I mean, well, I grew up in Vegas. Chinese so that buffet. Was buffet. Of course, Chinese, Chinese buffet, buffet number, number one, one yeah. for sure. Nondescript Chinese buffet, but... Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. I guess Sizzler. Do you guys ever fuck with Sizzler? You know what would actually be probably, a buffet. probably pretty profitable is you do a barbecue buffet because it, you can't eat that much fucking meat. You know, but barbecue is expensive. It's, I don't know dude. if it'd be it profitable. is expensive, but if you had a fifteen dollar cover to get into the barbecue buffet, that's still not enough. It would be if you go out for barbecue. It would be because people would bring their fu- people would bring their kids. It costs more than fifteen, and a kid is not oh, going to eat. Go. I mean, I could eat a fucking pound of fatty brisket Easy. right now, any time of day. Any money, dude. Easy but money, right put there. Your money I up. drop more meat than that. I couldn't do. You know. You go when you go like no, nah, dude. But I'll spend twenty bucks easy at barbecue, easy without even thinking about so guys it. Guys like Sav could offset those little kids. No, oh, I problem. would fuck their shit up, dude. Yeah. I would fuck up the formula. Well, if we do an Austin show, which we should, we should. We'll we need it. to. We need to get in the lab and book do January shit. or February. Yeah, yeah. We should drive down to Lockhart. A one hundred percent. We'll drive to Lockhart and I'll get Smitty's, Rock Hard, Croises. Get it all. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Ooh, fatty brisket, dude. Yeah, mm. I got a fatty brisket for you, Adam. And then, and then we're gonna do a big show in Austin that'll sell out, and it'll be an hour of. So there's coleslaw, <laughs> but there's, then there's just cabbage and mayonnaise, which is a different thing. Fuck both those and things, by the way. <laughs> I, I know you're doing a bit, but I hate coleslaw and I hate cabbage and mayonnaise. I don't mind it. Yeah, I'm. I like a coleslaw if it's more vinegary than mayonnaise. No. I, I was jokingly pointing out how bad the show has been in the last ten minutes. <laughs> And then you decided to just continue to go on about it. I think the people like our organic... All right, well, let's talk about uh, the big stuff. Mario Batali had a rape room in his... Whoa! In his his restaurant. Bam! You know? No, that's Emeril Lagasse. But bam! Mm Mm-hmm. Do you think Mario yelled that while raping? Bam! I thought Batali was gay, but it just turns out he just wears Crocs. Yeah, he's a rapist. Sorry for stepping on that bit. Yeah. Fine, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, but yeah, I'm so used to you saying stuff that isn't funny that I I was like, I don't know what's coming next, but I better say bam again. <laughs> Fine, dude. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. Well, n- no offense taken. I think. So, um. Hey, you're a good sport, man. I know. <laughs> I'm the best sport. I'm like the LeBron James Shut up. of being a sport. Shut up. Don't give um, yourself too much credit, man. Shut <laughs> up, son. <stop. laughs> <laughs> what is this? The thrust mat? Oh, this is for your wheel? Yeah, it's the power brick for the fucking $800 racing wheel that I'll probably never use again because it hurt my shoulder. <laughs> Nick injured it's himself. It's important that you had it. Though. No, that I injured big... myself at the gym and that exacerbated it. Yeah. But, you know, hey, you make money to spend money. That's right. right. That's you gotta, how you, you, that's how make, you make money. It. You got to spend money to make yeah. Buy low, sell even lower. Right? Yeah, right. You got to blow all your money. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, I'm getting in the crypto game. I've been getting in crypto. It's going to be so funny when you get fleeced. I, I can't After wait. After your yeah. bullshit fucking confidence, your hipster confidence about how stupid cryptocurrency is. Oh, it's yes. It's incredibly hipster. I'm, I'm uh, the fucking uh, uh, Arcade Fire has a coin out now. Do they actually? No. no, I'm saying there's a lot of people that criticize cryptocurrencies because it's fashionable to do so. But, but there's plenty of arguments against like there's plenty yeah. of reasons why Bitcoin is a stupid thing to invest yes. in. The, the one that is well, right now it is right. Well, 
I mean, you can't. It's no, way too high to invest in if you don't have a lot of money. It could continue. If you to, have millions of dollars, it could. Then it would look, make I sense. mean, it's a volatile market, and it's not like a proper way to time yeah. it or whatever. So, I mean, like just thinking that, you know, it, the reason you didn't like Bitcoin isn't because of of the where it was valued or well because i didn't it understand going. it right it was and right now i still it. don't understand it but yeah but <laughs> i do Eldis think. keeps buying no joke Eldis does keep buying cryptocurrency <laughs> but what like ethereum or yeah ethereum and uh some other litecoin Light yeah, litecoin went way up you yeah know? i mean i acknowledge that like all of them are just it's like a stupid way to make a speculative investment that might have like a high return because they're all like volatile investments mm-hmm. and you don't have to go through like a brokerage firm like right. you would with like traditional securities or whatever but uh it is just gambling nice you know so we should just go to a casino right exactly I hate oh you know what casinos to answer that other question the buffet at uh i was about to say before the buffet at um that Oklahoma shit? No, that one sucked. That was dude. the worst. That was the food worst I, food I've ever was, seen in my life. That was such fucking. It was talking about a casino where there's a show. Yeah, there's a casino, Asylum Springs, in Oklahoma, the it, Cherokee Nation. Yes, uh, casino. The food was like, first of all, great, great club, great show. Club. It was a great it's show. Like yeah, event room where they just like they put on comedy and. Uh, but it's great. The woman that runs it, she's not never booked a comedy club, so she doesn't know that you're supposed to like. Fuck over and exploit the comedian. Right, she's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they paid, Lacey, right? Yeah, Lacey. Yeah, yeah. Like shouts out to Lacey. They paid my flight. It was a thousand dollars one show, and then you it go, ruled oh, a G to feature. Yeah, fucking two hundred dollar. Yeah, two hundred dollar yeah. uh, wow. like food vouchers. Yep, you they got incredible. vouchers. Free access to the buffet every it's night. It's a really good deal. Yeah, you went with Ari, right? Yeah, yeah, me and Ari. The um, prob the problem is that buffet is brutal though. It is like it was so hard to eat anything even semi healthy. Yeah, all the foods segregated by race. If, so, yeah, Italian uh, is Italian, one select like section. Uh, o- like Oriental, or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So slant eye. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, that is a good model for a buffet if the food is good. Because when I was in high school, we used to get stoned and then go to the strip and then hit up buffets. Like the Rio had the around the world carnival oh, buffet. That does sound and pretty literally, good. Literally, you just from station to station, it was all like the best fucking. But this shit sucked. Well, this you shit heard was here like... first. Adam is an avowed racist that believes <laughs> the around the world <laughs> carnival that, buffet. That, that <laughs> Fusion cuisine is the miscegenation of eating. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> I want. I want them separate but equal. Dude, okay? this shit was hilarious. It was like the 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 Asian section was like spaghetti with teriyaki yeah, sauce. We'll it was that. like yeah, fucking. Yeah. No, it, it was, was it was it was, yeah. it was such fucking bad food, dude. Horrible. I, I really. Like, I think they I felt just, sick. I think they made fake crab shells and then stuffed it with tuna fish and mayonnaise. Yeah. I think so too. It was like that fucking bad. Yeah. I, 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 they had frog legs though for some reason. Yeah. They had a bunch of fried frog legs. Oh, there was so much shit you couldn't fuck with. And then the dessert station in the middle was like way oversized. Oh yeah. It was like, why do you have 900 different cookies? Yes. A lot of puddings, yeah. cakes. The salad bar was literally like just fucking yeah. four plates I, with I wilted sitting, ass lettuce. I was sitting eating dinner by myself, and there was this couple next to me, and like the guy, I just started struck up some conversation with me. The guy's like, "Man, I'll tell you, I love this place. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> good food, good times. It's like, yeah, there's just nothing else in your town, right? No, it was sad, dude. A casino is sad as shit. Yeah, it's like just fucking." People spending their disability checks, oh, gambling dude, in and Vegas, shit. you hear the saddest stories ever about like people Smoking going indoors. to retire there. Yeah, and then oh. somebody's losing like, their, somebody's like, entire like, save, like somebody's telling Adam in week. Vegas, or like, yeah, my husband was killed, and we got settlement money from the air condition. And Adam's like, oh yeah, one time, my me and my dad, we went to go buy a shoot, and then immediately just talks over this story. <laughs> I wouldn't. There's some dumb anecdote. About, I'm not telling then, an anecdote. And then we met Matthew Lesko. <laughs> At the mall, and I was like, "Sick, <laughs> the money guy, the the question mark guy, <laughs> the, the Riddler." I Matthew. did think he was the Riddler when I was a little kid. Yeah. Matthew Lesko. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's sad as shit, dude. Casinos are sad. Oh yeah, like old people like wheeling around their oxygen tanks as someone's like busting like a black and mild next to them. Yep, at a fucking slot machine. Yeah, oh, it's a big yeah. bummer. But you could win a lot of money. That's why I can't mm-hmm. gamble. Actually, like Androsky, dude. That's crazy. I know. A million dollars or whatever the fuck. That's so funny. Uh, I what if we start what if we start gambling all the Patreon money? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, we're not gambling. <laughs> we're gonna put it into quant. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Every every month we take yeah. the whole check black on roulette. <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah. We're gonna win at some point. That's right? true. Right? Yeah. 
statistically. That's true. Now, sure, there will be months and months where we make no more. We lose it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. But that one month, baby, that's yeah, going to be yeah. a sweet ass month. And we dude. say uh, always been on black like uh, Wesley Snipes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I talked to Norman and he's like, uh, I really hope you're putting like you're maxing out an IRA every month, you know. With that the Patreon money, and I'm like, eh, yeah. Who the sounds f- gay? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> the IRA. IRA. Suck my yeah. nuts, what dude. Am I fucking- <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck that shit. I haven't saved a goddamn dime. <laughs> yeah, of course not. I'm never gonna. I've just like been- what? Like you? You? You really think that this is gonna end at some point? Yeah. You know? Like that? This isn't a show that will last forever. Oh, oh this yeah. Is like, like Stern, baby. This I know. Is oh yeah. 40 the years. chemistry that we have. Yep. Undeniable. The brilliant insight like <laughs> you know King Lear is a book about some that's about that, these are the kind of you know critiques people come to listen to and that's, oh yes you can't put a price on oh it. yes brother except you can and the price is $25,000 <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, by the way, if you're listening to your first Patreon episode this week, yeah, because welcome. we forgot to mention the Patreon. We've, we've never plugged it actually. We've never plugged except it. for the first no, we week. We did in like December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we haven't plugged it in a year. Um, um, I was at a party last night, and there was you the, sucked off a guy in the bathroom. Well, kind of. Uh, there I was sucked this guy, on a man's dick. I sucked on a man's there's dick. There's this uh, this guy, and he's like. Yeah, what kind of loser has to like m- like makes a living on Patreon? And really? Like, Did you go off? I'll see myself. I would have fucking enjoyed that. I'll shit, see dude. myself out. Who said that? Who was that? Party? It was one of the I I called it a gay guy party, and my girlfriend was like, yeah. Adam, there were three gay guys. There. <laughs> I was like, it was that's it. That like crosses a, the one yeah. gay threshold. That's right. <laughs> the yep. gay guy it's party. like the one drop rule. I was like, that's like a. If fucking, there's ever been one drop of cum, yeah, yeah, all those like guys tongue. sync up. You know? <laughs> All their periods sync up. Yeah, they're, they're coming out of their ass at the same time. <laughs> I like those guys, dude. They talk shit about everything. They're like comics. Is know? that the is that the gay guy? So a gay guy was making fun of you? No, like someone made a joke about Patreon. He's like, "What kind of loser lives off of that?" Oh, dude, I would have gone but off. The, the fact is, to is be that clear, I live off all the money I made from TV writing. The, but the, the Patreon, fact is, is the like, Patreon money just goes to you guys. I, I ain't spent one rap dollar. <laughs> I've been putting it in a in a in a trust fund. <laughs> trust fund for when we turn Thanks, eighteen. Dude. In a college fund. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Father. So you can finally go to college. Nick's gonna I kill do have to graduate. We're gonna get college. like a DVD in the mail. It's gonna be you in like a library. Yeah. Like if we have to fight stop. each other. If you're watching this, you're already gay. <laughs> 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 and I. Have lost that fight to the death with the ape that I set up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, my um, my cousin killed himself. They're like, what happened? He got an ape. <laughs> he made it wear boxing yeah, right. gloves. He just he pissed the ape off until it killed him. <laughs> I really like this theme of humans fighting just, animals that we've had. It's just recently. a death by <laughs> ape. Yeah. Adam's dad's like, My well, dad. um, uh, <laughs> if he's dead, I guess he can't fuck the ape. I guess I have to suck the when, ape off. Trayvon Martin <laughs> happened. My stepmom was just oh, going, no. mm-hmm. yep, suicide by cop. And it's oh, like, yeah, no. He, he wasn't a cop. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just a guy on the yeah. street. So also, I don't think Trayvon Martin wanted to kill himself. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> suicide Damn. by cop. The two stepmom stories you've told on this episode are hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, your dad died. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, right. <laughs> that funeral that we were just saying. Oh, fuck. No, nah, she's great. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to shit on her. Uh, I want to shit on her. Fuck her, fucking bitch. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of it's you know it's unfair to isolate. Of a, course, a couple of bad takes. Yeah. From the catalog. Right. You know? Right. 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 And there's been other ones that are are very funny. That my f- are meant to be funny. My favorite horror, like bad take of my dad was he was like sort of coming around <laughs> on gay people. And then he was like, look, fine, they want to get married, but they got to have kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, he's like, they're going to gonna, gonna make them gay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dad, come on. You're like, is it better to be a kid with no parents or gay yeah. parents? And he was like, huh, hmm. Yeah. You ever see that, right. that video of, who's the guy that wrote Milk? Dustin uh, Lance Black? N- yeah. 
He gets Jack Black's uh, brother. No, nah, he gets roped into that Brian Singer boy touching thing sometimes. Cause Cause just because he wrote Milk. I don't know. I think people like he's like went to those parties or something. But there's like soft. Who's there for the dancing? There's soft implications that he's involved or whatever. But there's a video where he. Oh, I heard they were very hard. Yeah, where he's talking about how gay people make better parents because they always decide to have the kid. Mm. You know? Because they have to get it. I thought that was a good point. And then I saw that Brian Singer thing. Yeah. And then his name came up. I'm like, maybe not. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they decide to have the kid to fuck it. Yeah. You know? I'm just saying, you know, I'm not, I don't want to piss anybody off. <laughs> sure, sure, of course. But <laughs> that's <laughs> it's not, I mean, you, you should hate doing that. take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> right. <laughs> maybe every gay couple are just trying to. Be pedophile <laughs> with the child that they're adopting. So you're agreeing with that? <laughs> you're literally just agreeing with that. I'm just, all I'm saying. That's exactly what. Sunset. All I'm saying is, is there should just at least be a box that they have to check on the form that says, mm-hmm. "I agree that I am not a pedophile." Yep. So yep. legally, because yeah. then the it's illegal. Because they, they've lied on a right. form. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what? Then they're not allowed to use their precious post office. Anymore, yeah, oh yeah. Which I'm assuming is why the post office has been treating me so unkindly. Gay people with is all because their of all my uh, homophobia. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> they can tell. Yeah. Mm, I'm sucking a man's dick. Um. Fuck. I was laughing about uh, saying uh, we're gonna need a a gayer dick. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's like a really gay ass, you know? <laughs> the, the cover of the movie is like a, a guy with a huge mouth yeah. like coming up to suck a dick. At him. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, fuck. We're going to need a gayer dick. <laughs> or ass. Or uh, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the lonely the mega bus is lonely, boys. Yeah. How about uh, they remake Jaws, but you know they get the boat, and then there's just out in the foggy ocean somewhere, you know, mm-hmm. just striking at random. It's Dan Ninet on a little dinghy going around telling his jokes to people. They <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have to find and kill Dan. That'd be, That'd fun. be fun. There's an old sea captain that's like I saw him once, and it's called. What race is this guy? <laughs> He's half Indian, half Japanese, chief. You know, you can tell that. You can tell because he buys his sushi, sushi at 7 <laughs> Eleven. That's the trap. There's the like a sign. A, the thing about a half Indian, half Japanese. <laughs> He's got lifeless eyes, <laughs> slanty eyes, <laughs> like a doll's eyes. Oh, uh, fuck, man. I'm hungry. I can't wait to go to. Racine's party and eat. Pasta. Yeah, Mike Racine's doing a little party. I got to make some spinach dip before I'm not. I going don't over think it's a potluck. Yeah, they asked. They didn't. They asked he us not to bring not, food. First he did of all, not say they it was said a bring drinks if anything. First of all, Adam, uh, we all know your policy towards wedding gifts. If you have to pay for it. <laughs> This was only when I, I forgot about that. This is that only, was wild. This is only when I didn't have money. Now I give a wedding gift when I couldn't afford it. And, and I'd then you to, don't like, go to the wedding. Then you just don't go to the wedding. If I was going to a wedding and I couldn't really then you afford don't even go, go to the wedding out of town, no, I wouldn't give You put on your little gift. fucking suit, you eat that free fucking meal, and then you, you just don't go, motherfucker. Whatever. You send $50 as a card, say, I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I'm broke. Yeah. You don't fucking eat their food and don't give them shit. Yeah, but like some people take that wedding shit seriously. I would love to not go to weddings. Yeah. What, what do you mean? They take it seriously and expect you to fucking take part in it. I don't want to go to fucking St. Louis to go to a wedding, you know? <sighs> Whatever, Why, man. dude? You're like the biggest Nelly fan in the world. <laughs> yeah. You're always talking about Nelly. I love the St. Louis I went to the Murphy Arch. Lee. Country Grammar. Shouts out Murphy Lee. What the? What a stupid name, Country, Country Grammar. Country Grammar. I don't think it's stupid. I think it's smart. I think it's stupid. I think you're stupid. Mm-hmm. I think you should wear a Band-Aid on your dick. That's right. Because Nick's having broken. a little bit of a King Lear moment it's right bro- It's broken by being small. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone made that joke at a, at a roast once when Nelly was on the dais. What? They were like, Nelly wears a Band-Aid on his face, and he says it's a tribute to his brother in jail. Why doesn't he just wear a Band-Aid on his ass? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's an asshole. Good. That's a funny joke. It's a different joke. joke. Yeah. It's a better joke. Yeah, it's an I actual said. good joke. Yeah, but yeah. don't imply <laughs> that I stole a joke from yeah. one of the roasts, which I've never actually watched. You never watch a single roast? 
No, I, I have no interest. I've seen really like the old ones before they were huge. Like Gira- just watch the Geraldo compilation. Geraldo man. is the best one. Shit is so yeah. good. R.I.P. R.I.P. Salute, Big to, Greg to one of the greats. Yeah. Died at fucking Stress Factory, dude. Could you imagine? That sucks. Did you see, uh, Geraldo raped Bette Midler. What? Did you see that video. Geraldo Rivera. Yeah. What other Geraldo? Uh, Adam. Something like that. Greg Geraldo. Yeah, Greg Geraldo. Greg. 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 Geraldo. Greg Geraldo. My dad. My dad used to complain about having to work with a guy who was from Nicaragua because oh, yes. the guy would say he's like he's always like I'm from Nicaragua. He's like say the damn letters. <laughs> <laughs> Say it right. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, not today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad used to hire a guy who didn't speak any any English or Greek, and he only spoke Spanish. <laughs> and it's like you don't speak Spanish. He doesn't speak any. Fu- it was the funniest shit on earth, dude. Yeah. He was. My dad was trying to just fucking learn Spanish. He doesn't even know English. <laughs> and then the guy got deported. That's hilarious. That would make a good movie. Yeah, Speaking it's of Spanish. like a weird romance between your father and some Hispanic man where he's trying to learn Spanish. And they start fucking. Subordinate, yeah. That's they the next P.T. Anderson movie. They teach each other how to movie. love, and they teach each other how to A speak. very anxious movie about a, an old Greek man, and, a, and you keep thinking there's going to be a murder that happens, and then nothing happens. You know it's what the next about. one is? Yeah, that Daniel Day-Lewis thing about... As a dressmaker. A dressmaker, yeah. Which what? is Adam's dream, actually. He quit acting. Adam wants to make he's and so wear dresses. and that he learned how to make dresses, and then he's like, I'm quitting acting to become a dressmaker. Mm. Interesting. That's how method I am. That's what you're going to do? Yeah, I'm going to get a role as a male prostitute. Is that Adam's, why you've been... Adam's, are you in a Adam's movie to be gay? His name is Daniel Gay Pube Kiss. <laughs> He likes to kiss men's pubes. <laughs> Until they come. He just smooches the... That's so romantic. Smooches the... Yeah, he sucks mm. on the pubes until a man comes down his shirt. <laughs> Does that work, Adam? Is Do you that... find guys that come off pube sucking? Suck Adam's like, pubes. I wish I could grow these. <laughs> I have them now. No, you don't. For uh, Yes. You, I, yeah, you never learned how to grow I pubes. I have them now. You have grafts? I did get them late. Oh, yeah. You have pube grafts? Yeah, I got he it. He stole part of Stav's head. wig. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm into it, dude. God damn, I can't wait, dude. Gold chains and wigs. Oh, you should get a dreadlock. Oh, 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 oh. no, cool. no, no. We got to do our review of uh, The Problem with the Poo. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Let's I hope do you guys that. all watched it. Of course. Shots fired. So, you guys watched it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we got to do this review. Yeah. People have been asking for it, and I said we were going to do it. Well, and we definitely all watched it. Yeah, we all it. watched it. We all watched it. I mean, I, I know I did. We I said did we were going to watch it separately, so I don't know yeah. about you guys, but mm-hmm. I know I watched first it. I all, also watched it. Yeah. My first take, just because Harry Condobaloo is brown doesn't mean he can say the N-word the entire <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. I don't think that's cool. I think that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. It's not my place to judge as a white man who can and can't say the N-word, but it was weird that there was like 35 minutes of Maggie getting fucked. Yeah, that was strange. And I didn't understand that part. Yeah, I don't even understand what that had to do with Apu. She was, yeah, Apu was fucking her in the I mouth. Didn't, I she didn't was getting agree. fucked by the Bumblebee guy. I didn't agree with <laughs> yeah. they, where they redid the whole show, but they colored all the characters in brown. Yeah. You know, and it's like they said, this is what The Simpsons should be. Yep. Yeah. Is Homer should be an Indian. And they all were like, also. Marge, I do not... <laughs> yeah, Marge, I had a tough time at the power plant. Also, I think Harry Condobaloo was wrong. Stop saying it that way. You know it's Condobaloo. That's what I just said. I call him kind of bullshit. You know, uh oh. I mean? Harry Condobolu was wrong to say that all the Simpsons characters that were yellow were Asian. I think that they were just <laughs> yeah. Caucasian. Yeah, that was fucked that up. That's fucked up of him to make that inference mm-hmm. because I don't think Matt Groening. I thought it was messed up for him to interview Bobby Jindal and suck his dick on camera. <laughs> yeah. And Dinesh D'Souza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, Mickey Haley. You and got Mickey the, Haley. That you and forget the triumphant half. Of, yeah, yeah. And that FCC guy that's, yeah. that's doing the Harlem Ajit Shake. Paj, yeah. Ajit yeah. Pai. That guy is hilarious. That guy dude. is the devil. Yeah. He is Satan. What um, a fucking dildo. Uh, also, uh, we can't talk about him anymore. We're going to get net neutraled. Uh-oh. Yep. Also, I thought it was pretty fucked up that he said that the Bumblebee Man character was funny. Because that's also... Fucked up. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, why is that allowed? You know, that's a take that you've taken from the internet. That part. You're just <laughs> doing. Probably. Yeah, everyone's made the bumblebee man. Thing, so. <laughs> well, there are other <laughs> racial stereotypes on the Simpsons. Sure, but just mm-hmm. don't 
take the one that everyone's already <laughs> Who did that? Literally everybody. No. Yeah. Every you know the person. answer. The thing is, you asked the question, but you know exactly. You even know the Twitter handles. Well, probably. all my other takes are are not on the <laughs> internet. So <laughs> I think wrong. I've, I've given you four or five. Good wrong, ones. you gay motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Asian thing was funny. They, my sexuality has nothing to do with my. Takes. I didn't. I, I know. I didn't say it was a lie detector. Actually, gay guys have the best takes. Ugh. What a pandering piece of shit. Yeah. I'm pandering to all of the gay to guys. all guys because you're trying to get your dick sucked by men. It's true. Which isn't, there's nothing wrong with that. Where does that movie end up even? I mean, I watched it. So I watched I it too. I'm asking you guys. Where yeah. does it end up? Yeah. Like, what is the, what's the whole, he just interviews a bunch of rich Indian millionaires that are like, yeah, I got made fun of one time in my life <laughs> because of a poo. And then it's like, well, that's it, folks. Thanks for all the money you gave us. So we it ends, yeah. About it. it ends with Matt Groening begging for per- per- forgiveness. Yeah, it's a Matt Groening. I I don't think came up with a poo. Hank Azaria begs for forgiveness. Then I don't know. I don't know what Matt Groening's involvement in the Simpsons yeah. was after just drawing them the first time. That's hilarious. He gets to be known as the like guy. But it, wasn't there some guy that died of cancer or something that was really the guy or some shit? I don't think George Meyer is dead, but George Meyer is probably the most influential or like you know probably the if Ooh. you want if you want to pinpoint responsibility on somebody for like making The Simpsons what it is, it's probably George Meyer. What did yeah. what was James L. Brooks? He was just a producer. Or? Um, I don't know. Yeah, and he also had sex with your ass. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. You he was also to... your boyfriend, All James right, L. Fine. Cooks. Yeah. Your ass. The, 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 really L, hot. the L stands for loves Adam's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's more than one word. No, uh, it isn't. I did, I, that's L-A-A. That's a Dutch I said, name. I said it stood for. I didn't say it was one word. No, it is one word. It's a if Dutch name. It stands name. for something. It should be it's like... It's James Louvadam's ass. It's actually a Nigerian name where, mm. you know, it's just a bunch of words. Nigerian people you like... shut the that. freak up right now. They, have yeah. to have, they like having sentences as names. Yeah. Yeah. They also love college. I feel like Nigerians are the most in college motherfuckers I've Good ever luck, seen. Good luck, Jonathan. In my life. Asher Roth, two of the most <laughs> yeah. famous Nigerians. Shouts out to Asher Roth, dude. I love college. We got drunk and raped a girl. That was like, <laughs> you couldn't get away with that song. Yeah, right? listen to it now. <laughs> I'm putting Xanax in the punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's only that. twelve years old. <laughs> her college. older sister brought her here. <laughs> I love college. <laughs> I GHB myself before a party. Mm-hmm. So I lose all <laughs> plausible deniability. <laughs> you give yourself the date rape drug you when you know you're going to rape? Yourself. I told you, right? Is that your method? Yeah, I told you, right? That, that guy t- once was like, yeah, yeah, I was on vacation with my friends and um, we were on E and D the whole time. And I was like, what's D? And he's like, the Dick. date rape drug. They were all like GHB. That's wild. Themselves. Why? It was like a crew of gay guys that went to Greece. And they were, nice. They were day raping themselves. You know, I've been reading, uh, speaking of gay guys, I was reading a, uh, I'm reading The Bronx is Burning. I'm reading a book. And uh, when there was the big blackout in yeah. 77. The Bronx is Burning. It's by J.K. Su- Rowling. Subtitle, but the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's my take. That's my little spin <laughs> on it. Uh, but... Um, the, when there was a blackout in the gay neighborhood, I don't remember which part. Yeah, uh, there was an the, uh, there was the, an the, outdoor the Bronx. The, <laughs> no, in New York, in no, the it's, Manhattan, it's the br- the brunch, cause <laughs> it's the brunch, brunch with an X yeah. is the gay neighborhood. Part of the Bronx. I don't. Sorry, I didn't go over that one first. That would be a much no. Joke sorry, man. Don't worry about it. Don't, it. don't beat yourself lisp. up, man. That's um, I actually I'm mad about that. I did a lisp joke. Hey, man. That's, it's you shouldn't do throwing it. shit against Straight the wall. Straight people could have lisps. It's true. Uh, no. Well, it's also Mike the Tyson it's also the thing. laziest way to make yeah. a gay joke, and that's not what we're about. Yeah, we do intellectual. <laughs> yeah. stuff. No, I'm saying it's. I it, know what you mean. There's a difference because you can ironically call something gay. Yes, when you don't mean that. You know, in the bad that way. it's actually yeah, but you do. You mean it's bad. Sure, I mean, but it's bad. yeah, of course it's bad. Everyone knows what we're talking about. Yeah, but then if once you cross into <laughs> trying to do joke territory, yes, you got to be pulling out. The big guns. You know I agree. Like brunch. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a no man's land <laughs> in the middle that's uh-huh. for people lower. What about blow man's land? Blow man's where you're land. Blowing, that's where Adam lives. That's a hot gun. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, the gay guys, when the power went out, just had an outdoor orgy. They just all started sucking and fucking for like a city block. That's sick. That's pretty cool, honestly. Yeah. If yeah. you're gay and you love fucking and it's nighttime and it's there's no lights, it's a good time, boy. That's a party. Yeah. And meanwhile, in Bushwick and bed they were, you know, they were fucking rioted. It was not cool. Uh, it really fucked the city up. It was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, mm. I've been reading books, guys. I'm smart now. Yeah, it's, it sounds like you really have a huge grasp on what happened <laughs> during the uh, the the what is it the black seventy seven seven seventy seven black was that also summer of Sam? It was. It was. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nick said it before me, but I knew it more than he did because I'm reading it. I was right asking now. you actually. I was not asking mm-hmm. Nick when he jumped. You're everyone is always asking me. <laughs> so I was asking stuff. Don't make the mistake of thinking. Your questions will not be received and answered. Is that movie good, the uh, <laughs> Spike Lee Summer of Sam movie? Which Summer of Sam movie? Inside Man. It's She's called Summer of it. Sam? Yeah. Every time I see that poster, I say to myself, yeah, have what, sex? <laughs> She's got to have it. And then I imagine myself pulling out my dick and <laughs> masturbating on the poster. <laughs> Which you can do because it's New York. You know? That's true. There's no public masturbation laws. Yeah. That's what that's that's you that's know, why Louis got in trouble. He did. That's it the in original private. opening of Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> she's walking past Saks Fifth <laughs> Avenue and looking in the mirror, just furiously, you know, going to town on her pussy, rubbing her fucking little clitoroon. You know, she's squirting, which is just piss. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, you know, uh, everyone knows that. Yeah, squirt is piss. Squirt is piss. <laughs> and if you disagree with that, you should be put in jail. Uh, I Ooh. knew someone who squirted so much she just had rubber sheets. Yeah. Which so seems what? uncomfortable. You know a girl Stav that had rubber sheets? Fucked a retarded girl. Yep. Mm-hmm. Stop. This yeah. is, who, Uh-oh, no. I'm squirting. It's a friend's ex. I drank too much juice That's and I'm squirting true. again. You think the person is lying to I me? I think the person is lying. You're funny. You make me laugh so hard I squirted. <laughs> yeah, is she wearing like a bib and like... Yeah, she was wearing... Like a rubber yeah, she was squirting. That's why she had diapers oh, oh, on all yeah. the time. <laughs> she had a propeller beanie <laughs> yeah. because of the squirting. <laughs> the know? mouth guard. She was squirting out of all the holes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm, her yeah. asshole. All of her fingers were the same length because she was so good at squirting. <laughs> yeah. She had a very thick tongue. She Do had eyes like a Chinaman. Yeah, really. I know, I know all of this. Into. <laughs> Wait, retards have thick tongues. They got thick tongues. That's why they sound like that. Oh, oh what the, the fuck? Yeah. yeah, they made your tongue big. Whoa, they made your tongue big in your mouth and try to talk. That's I didn't even realize that. That's that makes so much sense. That's what you got me. Can you taste things more vibrantly if you have a thick tongue? Yeah, that's oh, why yeah. they love candy. Oh yeah, like shit, candy. dude! Yeah. All comes together. <laughs> now it's really yeah. Is, is, how big is your tongue? I, I guess you don't that, have a speech impediment. I don't know, but yeah. maybe your tongue's big, and that's why you like to eat a lot. There's that Nick, that I episode of so. the Nick, <laughs> where they fi- they find one of them and cut them open, and they get to the bottom of. Uh, you know what makes you retarded? That's right. <laughs> that is right. They have fingers that are the same size too. Yeah, they're all the same way. Why? That doesn't make sense. Actually, I don't even know if that was true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Do they have long pinkies or short middle fingers? Hmm. That's uh, a real question. Well, it's all thumbs. It's five. Thumbs. Oh five shit! Thumbs. Five. So they're good thumbs. as shit. Yeah. Oh, that's that's they're evolved, dude. They right. climb yeah. really good. Climb. That's why yeah. they're the best at movie reviews. You know. Mm-hmm. What do you give this one? Ten thumbs up. <laughs> I love it. That's good. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah, that's really. They're good. the only ones who are allowed the ten point scale. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ebert and Roper, more like Ebert and Groper. Yeah, did he grope? Probably not. He's dead, right? He got cancer. No, Roper is the only alive one. Oh right, Siskel. Siskel's, Siskel's dead. dead one. Ebert's, Ebert's dead too. Yeah, of course. He lost his jaw and then he died. Yeah. Did you see that? Documentary? He was looking fucked up. I yeah. cried from that. I did too. I actually, cried. that was yeah. sad. Ebert's black ass wife, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he was so happy with that a widow. Family. I know. They, they showed them it was on adorable. vacations. This fat white man. It was and adorable. This, like, happy black family. Yeah, and they loved each other. She was so, so much. cute. You know how bad I want a fucking Chaz. fat. You know how much I want a fat American stepdad. That's what my. That's what my dad really robbed me of. If he left my life, I could have like a supportive fat white stepdad. Yeah, just Bill. Who tell? Yeah, Doug or now, Bill or now something. Now you can be a fat supportive stepdad. I don't want to be that. You're no gonna. You're gonna stop. You're stepdad, definitely gonna end though. up with a woman that already has a kid. I don't think so. You're probably some little piece of shit kid. If I do it, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? My name's Tattoo. <laughs> no. I like I like the midget playing from with the nails. midget from uh, Fantasy Island or whatever the fuck. Do- What's that shit called? I don't know, Dr. Moreau? Do- no. 
From yeah, fan, fan is it Fantasy Island? The Tattoo. love boat. Yeah, it's the love boat. Yeah. I mean, I would. I, I guess I would fucking adopt a child from Fantasy a Factory. You know, I have a big loving heart. I'm open. I'm ready to give. Yeah, but I'm I'm very far away from that. But I would love one of those. You know, I'd someone probably to hug me married. and tell me he I'd believes me. I'm probably gonna get married in the next year, probably. <laughs> I hope you do, this man. Should be funny in three years when Stop has a stepson and you're married and I'm trans. <laughs> That's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trans but still closeted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fucking gay, dude. <laughs> I'm just a woman. <laughs> I'm just a woman now. So. One step at a time. Race you know? to get mm-hmm. married, you know. Mm-hmm. The last one of us that doesn't get married. Oh yeah, what, is going to have to transition. Okay. Yeah. So it will be Nick probably. Probably. Yeah. Adam, you're gonna go first. It's all, no Nick might go first, just on some like weird shit. On some legal shit? What, yeah, some like getting uh I found out you can go to jail for a long ass time. In if citizenship. You do, if you mm-hmm. green card marry someone and then they find out that you My you're, buddy did that. I'm not gonna say who it is, but you know him. He did. Oh, He's shit. like married. Tell us off air. He, no, I'll just tell you on air. I just want to say his name. Okay. But he married yeah, he married like a Chinese woman and like we were hanging out one time. He's like, Ah, I gotta go. See my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what? And he's like, "Yeah, I have. I married this mainland Chinese woman for twenty five thousand dollars." Holy yeah, shit! He's like ten you... years ago, and he's like, "He's like, I haven't even gotten all the money yet." He's like, "It's a huge pain in the ass. I had to go to court a bunch of times because they like investigate the shit out of you." Oh my god! Yeah, they like investigate they get away with you, it? and then they'll be yeah. like, they'll ask both people like independently what side you can't... of the bed do you sleep on? Right, like what they try to catch you. Really? And then if you get caught, you can go to jail and shit. But like you can't Damn prove fraud. that. Yeah. yeah, you can't prove that two people don't. Don't love fuck each other. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And even if they don't well, fuck, you, you can have a loveless marriage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, even if you said, "Yo, we're married." Yeah, we don't sleep in the same bed. Yeah, we don't cohabitate. We think that's like how a successful marriage works. You know? Why yeah. can't you do that? You can. Why don't? Why doesn't everyone sense. do that then? That makes a lot because, of sense. Because people aren't comfortable lying to federal agents. <laughs> like, you you know, didn't see that movie that Chuck and Larry where they like Kevin James and Adam Sandler have to fuck each other. Yeah, in front in the court. That's the in the court. That's how it ends. <laughs> yeah, and everyone gives them a standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't fuck each other, we're gonna take your kids away. And it's like, no, I love my kids please, so please much. Please don't take my kids away. And oh. then it just. Well, our movie recommendation this week, by the way, is I love you, Philip Morris. If you haven't seen it, I just remember it's a good movie. Jim That's Carrey movie. is yeah, that Jim yeah. Carrey? It's Jim and, Carrey. Uh, what's his name? Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. He, he yeah. has so few good movies. But the ones that he he's in, that he really good, knocks them out of the park. Great. Eternal Sunshine is like one of the best. Movies yeah, it rules. Um, oh, was just that Anomalisa, which I hadn't seen. Did you like it? No, not really. I felt is that asleep. is that the that weird stop motion shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which it's Charlie Kaufman's like, everyone? Yeah, it looked the, good, and then everyone said it was bad. It's the first yeah. thing he ever directed. Like he's oh, written really? a bunch of movies, but he directed Interesting. it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. I don't particularly like. Um, I don't really. Did he wrote it? Yeah, I thought he just did punch up on it or something. I thought the original script was his, and then it was rewritten by somebody maybe, else. Maybe, yeah, like yeah. That. It's not like purely his. Maybe. It's not, but it does have like kind of a Kaufman I mean, feel. Adaptation to it. is amazing. I don't like adaptation. You don't dude. like it? I, I love it. I love that. You know the story behind stupid. adaptation? Shit, I don't get what the fuck is even going on. He was a writer. What do you mean? What is going on? That one's probably the easiest Kaufman no, movie to like man, access. Fuck that shit. Okay, no, I mean listen, it's pretty listen. straightforward. You know the story behind it. That's the one with Nick Cage, right? He was a okay. Listen, listen. He was yeah. a writer on the Dana Carvey show. Okay, with like Louis C.K., Rob Smiley, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A huge, like mm-hmm. stacked writers room. Man, yes. you want to tell this story so bad. I do, I do. <laughs> it's a good story for the pod. Go ahead. And it's an anecdote. I was there the whole time. Mm-hmm. No. Tell someone else's story. Uh, he wrote a sketch for the show that never aired. Got canceled after one season about Weird Al's twin brother, Weirder Al. Who would do That's pretty funny. parodies of Weird Al songs? That's funny. And then it never aired, and then that idea evolved over years into adaptation. Hmm. So what happens in adaptation? <laughs> it's it's he's got a Charlie brother. Charlie Kaufman is a character in the movie. Yeah, I don't and fuck he's with it. Depressed, and he's adapting a New Yorker story for a screenplay. Right. And then Nick Cage this, is playing, him. and then he, Nick Cage plays his. Well, Nick Isn't Cage Meryl is playing like a version of him. Yeah, yeah. She's the person that wrote the story. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And then about a, a flower thief. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. The orchids. Like, yeah, yeah, steals yeah. orchids. Yeah. Yeah. And then he plays his twin brother. Who's How not about a, a movie real where there's a man named Adam Freeland who who moves into you know a gentrified apartment in Brooklyn? Yes. Yes. And it's a door that he goes through, and the door leads into his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he does. It doesn't. It's you know. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So he keeps bringing girls over and mm. then fucking them in his own ass. Interesting. And then eventually he gets trapped in his own ass. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then the movie ends. <laughs> What's it called? It's Charlie Kaufman. It's called Being Adam. Charlie and the Being Chocolate Adam. Factory. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That's yeah, good stuff. Thank you. That's a, that's a good way to end the show. <laughs> I think that's good. Well, guys, come see us in D.C. this fucking Friday. Fuck, we should have plugged it. Oh, shit. Is it Friday? Yeah. It's this Friday. All right. <laughs> what? What? Do you what? Mean? Nothing. I thought it was Thursday. We have to be there no, at no, five. No. It's Friday for load. As long you know, it it doesn't actually matter what the days are. The dates are the only thing that I have in my head. The twenty okay. second. Yeah. This well, Friday. Yeah, we'll see you there for our big holiday show. Um, all Get right. Tickets online. It might sell out. Yeah. All yeah. right. Bye. 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 Bye.